Oh, it's fancy. Hey guys, you're watching Frizzy Free, and this is going to be a tutorial for the perfect perm rod set. To start, I co-washed my hair with the J Organics Carrot Peppermint Co-Wash. I felt that it did a great job of cleansing and moisturizing. My only complaint is that the nozzle was small for the thickness of the product. I used the LLC method for applying products while installing this hairstyle. To start, I saturated my hair with water and then went in with the Blue Algae Daily Moisturizer from J Organic Solutions. Next, I followed with their Moisture Lock Oil and then their Hydra Moisture Curl Boosting Smoothie and layered them onto my hair. I used my Tangle Teaser to ensure that all of my strands were completely smoothed out. Next, I separated my hair into two equal parts and began to twist. Depending on the length of your hair, you can twist about halfway down before applying the rod. I used my Tangle Teaser again to smooth out the ends of my hair before going in and adding the perm rod to the end. I wanted to make sure that my rod curls came out perfect, so I used all the extra product to kind of adhere the end of my hair to the rod and then tightly roll it all the way to the top before securing it. Here you can see me repeating the same process just a little bit faster just so you can get the hang of the technique that I used to apply the rods. After I was finished, I just went ahead and threw my bonnet on to air dry. I air dried for about 24 hours, but you can sit under the dryer if you prefer. After ensuring that my hair was 100% dry, I went ahead and started to remove the perm rods. I was extremely heavy handed with the products when I was installing this style, so I did end up experiencing a little bit of residue, but I used the exact same combo to do a twist out a little while ago and didn't experience any um, residue at all. Before separating the twist, I made sure to coat my hands with the Moisture Lock Oil to reduce frizz. I originally separated each strand of the twist about two or three times, but I ended up going back in and separating them about five or six times to achieve maximum fullness. To add some volume without disturbing my curls, I held sections of my hair to pick at the root. And at this point, I just kept picking and separating and fluffing until I achieved my desired shape and size. And I really ended up picking my hair basically for the entire time that I had the style. But of course, you can always stop whenever you see fit. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.